Sorry, excuse me. Hello. Excuse me, what are you doing? Oh, look at it. Yeah, you're right. It's Joe McKeldry, everybody. Yeah. Was, well, oh, when the red oh, screen, I was just driving past, so I thought I'd pop in. Joe, pop some headphones. When on. the red lights on, <gasps> isn't this? Don't be like that. It's <laughs> Joe McKeldry. Hey, Joe, give me five. We've never met before, so it's good to meet you. Nice to see I you. Have a cuddle and a kiss. Yes. All right. Mm, How are you? Easy. I'm very well. I believe you're not very well. I have a bit of. I'm going to try not to sneeze on air. I've just tweeted saying I'm going to try not to sneeze. I know. I've been following you. <laughs> bit, well, I had food poisoning last week. <gasps> not, I'm not a one for complaining about illnesses, but it's it? kind of all hit us at once. Dodgy takeaway. Are you yeah. not doing your vitamin <laughs> wars? And then, and then I, I've got the flu this week. I'm getting wrong off one of my friends actually for not having vitamins. So well, listen, probably. you hang on there, love. I'm going to go and get you a brew. Should we play a song? <laughs> I'll go and make him a brew. Yeah, I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh, we'll check out the latest on the roads. You get Joe a brew. Yeah. Uh, Nicole Scherzinger on the way. And and one of your, one of your, I don't know, would you call him a, would you call him a colleague or a counterpart? We could call him a colleague. Ollie. Oh, is it Ollie? Yeah. we got Ollie coming up in 15 minutes and more Joe McKeldry on Real Radio. Congratulations. Oh. Nearly 20 past four. We're joined by Joe McCall. Joe McCall, everybody, come on! Oh, where are you, Paul? Oh, snotty tissue. Where's your mum? She's at home. She's look at all these little snot rags in front of him. Uh, <laughs> oh, bless him. I'm Can we right, put the I'm heating okay. up? Can we put the heating up in here? I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Yeah, well, of course, you're nearly an old man now. He's 20. I know we have to deal with these things, sorry, with old age. <laughs> all right, listen. Um, go on, Joe. The real reason you've popped in to see us today. You're doing um, you're doing a, an album signing. Yes, for the classic Christmas classic album. Classic Christmas, yeah. Um, at Asda Living, is it? At Manchester Fort mm-hmm. yeah. tonight. Now, do you know the funniest thing? Ollie thought you were doing oh. a book signing. <laughs> A book. I haven't got a book. I, I thought yeah. you didn't do Joe McCarthy. Well, you books. know, I'm a respectable author these days. <laughs> of course, darling, yes, you know. <laughs> he was like, he's very young to bring out a book. I was like, he's not bringing out a book. No, he's no, got no, his no. new album. No, he's bringing out a book. I'm sure I read about it. Because somebody's probably written somewhere. You've Somebody has it. written a book, which is a biography, and everybody thinks I've wrote it, but I haven't <laughs> wrote a biography. <laughs> But there's one out there. But yeah, so no, it's an I, album I signing. You, I saw you uh, talking to the loose women about this the other day. You're pretty excited. You've got some absolute favourites on there. You have had a, quite a lot of input in this album yourself. Yeah. Well, I was. I kind of. The plan was to kind of just wait until next year before mm-hmm. I started the next album. I was going to take it a bit slow, do a bit of songwriting and things. But Christmas is always a really exciting time of the year to have an album out. Yeah. And mm. it's always. It's the most exciting time of the music industry because everybody releases. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to be a part of it, so I was like, "Can we do a Christmas?" album uh, and I just put all my favourite songs on we kind of just did the arrangements a bit differently and threw a few things about and, and made so it possible so what can people expect on the album you've got Last Christmas Driving Home for Christmas I love that song When a Child is Born Oh Holy Night Oh Come All Ye Faithful um I believed in Father Christmas. Yes, There's all different ones. That's what all I'm talking different. about. I believed in Father Christmas. That's what, what about, I'm talking about. Love that. Um, Happiest Christmas Tree, Nat King Cole. No, she hasn't no, got that. White Christmas is on there. Oh. Silent Night. You see, that's my favourite Christmas song. Joe oh, wouldn't put happy. Oh, I'm have to? happy as Please Christmas Please don't sing. Tree. Please don't sing. Ho, I think ho, we should ho. do a duet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great Christmas song. Is but this, we, we is this true? It. No, we're not going to play. Is this true? Right. So, 28th of November, you released Classic Christmas. Yes. Um, and it went. Would it go gold within a day? Yeah. Hundred thousand copies. Yeah. That's what it needs to go gold within yeah. a day. Well, it's based on it's based on shipping. So it's how many get sent to everywhere across the country. So it, technically, it's gone gold already. That's um, unbelievable. That's I haven't had the final f- sales figures yet for it all overall because yeah. obviously it's still up to Christmas. The classic is, you know, after Christmas people aren't really going to buy it, are they? So, well, not unless they're very yeah. prepared for next year. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I haven't got the final sales yet, but I think it's gone gold already. Like ultimately, which that's is brilliant. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Please. Listen, dude, um, what I'd like to do is uh, I picked up a few things on Twitter that I'd just like to have a conversation with you about. Okay. Uh, not right now. Can you hang around with us, please? Yeah, of course, please? Of course, uh, I'm going to play. Oh, th- give us a bit of goss on Ollie. You got a bit of goss on Ollie, something like Gossip on Ollie. Ollie. He, came, um, he came second. Yeah, he came second. <laughs> That's an exclusive. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> In the studio is Joe McKeldry. Hello. Um, just looking on Twitter, because um, I follow you on Twitter. You're not, you're not going to tell us me tweets are really boring. I've had this no, one no, before. No, 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 of course I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <clears throat> I follow you. Do you follow me? No, but I will. Oh, come on, Joe. I will. I will on, follow Joe. you. Right. Don't follow him. He's really dull. <laughs> I'm Ollie, I mean, not Joe. Um... Okay, so um, the older you get, the more you hate the early mornings. Yes. And uh, why can't it be the other way round? 
And can I just remind you, you are only 20 years old. I know, but like... I'm going to get to my age. Since I turned 20, I hear early morning. I used, to, I used to be up at 6 o'clock or 7, I'd be smiling away. I think it might be because I'm tired at the minute. It's getting to the end of the year oh. and I'm just a bit... I used to hate people like you at school that were always dead bouncy in the morning. Oh, I used to... You see, no, I'm not I was always person. the bouncy one. I still am. I'm not horrible on the morning. <laughs> but the other day I had to get up at like... I think it was like quarter to four for a flight, and oh, I was that's just not like, "Morning, that's this night time." Is, oh. You know when you feel sick, it's that yeah. early. No, that's night time. Um, this morning, the snow, snow was was really bad, yes. really bad. So you, you you drove your car this morning, you turned. Oh, I did. That was so embarrassing. Oh, I dear. went to the You're shop. Right. I went to the shop this morning to get some yeah. diet coke. <laughs> and I thought I'll drive. Um, so I got in the car, put the four wheel drive on the car, which was probably a mistake because I went round this junction far too fast, and the Boy, back wheels. Said. It, it span round twice in a circle and it was like swinging round. But you know when they tell you not to do anything? Oh dear, you're not yeah. supposed to press the brakes, you're not supposed no, to do anything just, with the just... wheel. So I just let it go and everybody in the <sighs> street was in go. hysterics at us and I was kind of like sitting in the car spinning round. <laughs> um, but I, I'm, I, I survived. I made it to the shop and made it back in one piece. Okay, and, and you've learned from that. <laughs> what do you do in future? Probably not put your car in four wheel drive. I would say. Or two. slow down? Yes, or slow, slow down. Slow down is yeah. what he meant to say. <laughs> and you weren't going very fast anyway. I was, it was probably only good about, what, five, ten mile, if that? And it was An just hour. because it was icy, yeah. Wow. All right, He's here, though. He made it. He made, made it, it. And I'm glad about that. I'm glad about that. Uh, so Joe is at uh, Asda Living today. 5 30, I'm going to start signing. 5 30. 5 30. How long are you staying there for? As many as for however long. Oh, you might have been that. We were in. We, we did a signing for three and a half hours the other day. Three and a half hours. How, see, how do you do that? You know, when you're signing, do you not get seriously bad wrist ache? I think I'm used to it now. Really? Yeah. It's you've just got to go with it. I can't imagine having to sign for three and a half hours. So it's, it's a long time to have design for. I thought you were going to say you're never going to have to, Lorna. Don't no, worry about you it. Won't. Well, you said it yourself because I knew you would. Right, listen, Joe, could you, ha- could you just hang around with us for a little while yes, longer? Because yes. I know you've got to go places and do things and see people now. But just a little while longer, we'll hang on to you if that is okay. Of course. Right, Henry's got the latest. It's Real Radio, 4.35, home time, Ollie for Glenn with Lorna. And we're only with Joe McKeldy this Yay! afternoon. Hey. See, we get all the stars in on um, own time. Holly is on her way to your book signing, uh, your uh, album signing, Joe. Oh, is she, is she, did <laughs> she send that message in? Holly, yeah, Holly's Holly's on her way. Tell Holly I said hello. Hi, so, Holly. Hey, Holly. Please, can you play anything from the Christmas song from Joe McAldry's album? I'm on my way. He's si- on to his signing right now, she says. Oh, I'll see you very soon then. Mm. Stay away from him, Holly. He's got snot running all out of his nose. I do not. (laughs) (laughs) Why? What he is, apart from having, you know, the the sniffles and stuff, he's he's a bit chilly. Can you? Freezing. you know, oh, look, look after I've got, look after I've got a nice big false fur coat here that will keep you warm. Oh, thank you very and much. Oh, oh, that's special. I know, that really See? suits you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Doesn't Hello, he look darling. cute? You feel like Shirley Bassey. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Shirley Bassey. <laughs> oh dear, and now you're having your picture taken. That's there unfortunate. <laughs> hey, but the thing is, like when you were younger, <laughs> yes, oh, you, you're a you're a chubby teenager. I was a chubby right? teenager when I was younger. Yeah, I been am, there. And I used to be. I used to have like. I used to be constantly boiling hot. I used to be able to swim. We used to go camp and I used to be in the lake swimming, everything. And now I lost a bit of weight and I'm You're freezing, freezing cold. And I always can tell when I've lost a couple of pounds or something because I start to get really cold, like all you the have time. To put an extra jumper and on. And I'm like, oh, I've lost weight. No, I just need to put another jumper on. <laughs> See, I, I'm... So you constantly look the same size. Yeah. The colder you get, the more clothes you wear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a bit of a chubby teenager myself, uh, and I'm hoping that the chicken and broccoli diet, because Lorna, <laughs> Lorna and I were talking about this earlier on in the week, and I'm hoping that the chicken and broccoli diet is going is so to help. what is that? Is that well, just wait, constant chicken and broccoli? It's constant, constant chicken and broccoli and protein shakes. And exercise? And exercise. You don't have to do much. Seriously, you don't have to do much exercise. Just to, No, I'm not joking. <laughs> The only thing, the only thing I think about them kind of things is fad though, right? diets. Well, be quiet. you can't live off chicken and broccoli Correct, for the rest this of is your what life. I said. Oh. You're better off running like healthy I'll run eating four times a week and healthy eat, and then yeah. you can have a pizza as well. If no, you what, go for a run. What, what I do? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> what I do is I have chicken and broccoli, and chicken and broccoli, and chicken and broccoli, and a pizza. Right, okay, so you have one treat day. One treat day. You can have one cheat day. You're allowed a cheat day. Well, you can have a chicken and broccoli pizza. Yeah! <laughs> Come on! 
That's what I'm saying. So hopefully it won't be so much of a fad, and it starts exactly. on January the third. So well, I hope it goes well. Could you tweet me on January the third and good say luck. I'll remind you? But just say good luck. I'd really appreciate it. And then I'll you. tweet and say he's yeah, right. already cheated and he's tucking into a doner kebab or something at like seven o'clock in the morning. You won't last on it because it's a fad diet. I've told you. Little often with some exercise thrown in. Do you know what? I'm glad this, is, this is our last day together. Yeah. I'm glad this is our last day together on Home Time, I tell you. That. Get down and give us 20, Ollie. Right, listen. Um, is there anything else you want to say to Joe? Yeah. Go on. I want to I sing, oh, my, geez, my, I wanna, I sing my song with Ollie. Oh, of course you do. Not, not you, actually. I want to sing it with Joe. Oh. I was going to sing it with you, but now I want to sing it with song? Joe. Hang on. I need to prepare this. Just We've just got another we'll go song go we can play and then we can prepare Can we hang around for four minutes? Just two minutes. Oh, everyone's shaking their heads. Oh, oh I'll say yes, I'll say yes. Let's say yes. Right, 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 right. Listen, I'll tell you what, Joe said yes. Joe said yes. Right, listen, we're going to sing Happiest Little Christmas Tree with Joe McAldry. At, oh, why do I? Why? What song is it? We're still live, oh, Joe. <laughs> Happiest Little Christmas Tree at Real Radio after Beyonce. Live. Real radio home time. Right, go on, Joe. You love Beyonce. I'm so excited you played that song. I'm obsessed by her. She's beautiful. Have you ever met Beyonce? Kind of. Kind of. Like, everything she does, I just, I think she's the ultimate artist. She's just everything that an artist needs to be. And so amazing with it. And I was at Wireless Festival about last year, last summer, and... My manager, my manager knew I was so obsessed, and she's like, "This will be the one time I'll allow you to be very unprofessional. You can chase her, right?" <laughs> and, chase her. Like, <laughs> and, um, and she was kind of like, it was really top secret where she was going to sit, but we had seats in the sound box, right? And I was like, "Oh my god, she's going to come and sit in the sound box." And then they came and moved with it, and they were like, "We think she's going to be side of stage. So if you want to go and sit there, everybody's kind of going to get there and watch Jay Z." So me, you would think I would be excited by the fact that I was side of stage yeah, at Jay Z. Yeah. yeah. No, I was. Concentrate on Beyonce Where in the sound she? desk. <laughs> and, and then I met her after and she touched my hand. <gasps> she, like, I kind of went to kind of properly say hello and the bodyguard kind of shuffled in, but she stuck her hand through and she's like, hi, nice to meet you. Oh. And you've never washed it since. And that's never. why you're not very well. <laughs> See? <laughs> Now, what are you up to? Because I know you've not got much time off over Christmas. You've got Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Yeah, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. And then I travel to London on Boxing Day to do the... I'm, I'm introducing the Nutcracker at the O2 Arena. That's unbelievable. Yeah, so we're going to do it with like a 72-piece orchestra, which amazing. is going to be amazing. And 2012 is just going to be so massive for you. You've done X Factor. You've also done all the opera as well now. There's nothing you can't smash. <laughs> I'm going to go on a country and western show next year. Um, <laughs> yeah! Attempt to be the next Dolly Parton. Hey, can I just <laughs> about to say that? Can I just say um, I heard you at the uh, the illumination switch on when we did it live yes. from Blackpool, and um, I heard you sing "Dance with My Father Luther." And you know, no, I love no, that nobody, song. and you probably had this yourself. Nobody can do that. But do you know what? Yeah, you absolutely can. nowed it. It oh, was incredible, man. It was seriously good. Thank you, Joe. You made it your own. Thank Very you. Good. <laughs> it. Right, are we, we going to do this song? Are we going to do oh, this song? Yes, yes. Because right, this, this is my favourite, my favourite ever song. Are you ready, Joe? Okay. Are you ready? The happiest Christmas tree. Lorna Bancroft and Joe McKeldry. Oh, ready? Why do we? Oh. I'm the happiest Christmas tree. Ho ho ho! He he he! Look, Someone came and they found me and took me home with them. Oh, oh. I'm the happiest Christmas. Christmas tree, ho ho ho, he he he! Look how pretty they dress me, oh lucky, lucky me! Yeah! Right, Joe's managers are going to kill us. Joe's at Asda Living, Manchester Fort Retail Park, Cheatham Hill Road. He's signing his new album. See, I got it right that time. Yes, not a it's not a book; it's an album. And it's Classic an amazing Christmas, album. and he's going to be there from five thirty. Yes, I'm going there right now. He's leaving now. So, um, Joe, thank you so much for Don't coming go. in. Have a lovely Christmas. Don't Thank go. you for having us. I've had so much fun. Don't go. He's got to go. I don't Let want him go. to go. Everybody, <laughs> Joe McKelvey. Bye, everybody. Real.